my name is Samantha May and today we're going to learn how to tune with the pegs. I have with me my student Joanne. She's going to play the part of the student and I will be either um, playing the role of an adult, her parent, or an uh, older sibling who will be assisting using the pegs. Um, if you haven't yet watched the fine tuning video, please go back and watch that first. That will help you um, know the, the first step to tuning your instrument. This comes after that. So watch this video twice because um, there are some steps that you need to learn before you try this on your own instrument. So the first thing you've noticed is that we've had um, a chance to set up with our chairs facing each other and we have the violin in the student's lap and the scroll facing me. All right, so would you please pluck each of the strings and say their names? Okay. E, A, D, G. Very nice. Now you help me locate the D string. This one. Uh-huh. And we're going to look all the way, uh, search for the D peg. So we continue up here until we find where that string ends. And then the peg that's sticking into that string in the peg box is the peg we're going to be tuning today. We're tuning D. All right. So I have that in my right hand and then I'm going to um, just hold the left side as a counterweight. And so now what we want to do is um, I'd like you to continuously pluck that D string and just listen to what happens to the pitch and I'm going to turn the D peg away from me so that the top part of the peg goes away. Alright, and we're just going to listen to what happens to the pitch. Ready? Go ahead. You heard it went down and that's what happens in that direction. Now we're going to t turn it the opposite way but we're going to do it while we match to our tuner note. So I'm going to turn on our D string tuner. Ready? Go ahead and pluck. You could help me out if you nod, if you hear it's in tune. We're going to try this a second time. Um, we're going to bring it out of tune again. Go ahead. Okay, so that was lower. Now I'm going to take the top of this peg and turn it the opposite way to make it higher while matching our reference pitch. And it's important as you do this to do a screwing motion, which is pushing in and turning so that the wedge shape of the peg sticks into that peg box um, and really it's just held in by the amount of force that you're pushing in. Um, it's just with friction. There is no mechanism, there's no gear inside to hold it in place so we need to do that when we're tightening it um, when we're going up to a higher pitch um, in order to match this D. So let's try that and you can nod if you think it's in tune. And I think you were right and that was really helpful to have you nod while I was really focusing on turning and pushing in. Um, if it's still out of tune, which it may be just a hair, it's much easier to tune with fine tuners, so we would then go down to the fine tuner on this violin, which would be that one, and we can do our fine tuning after we get it close, which is, I think, where we're at right now with the D being very, very close to in tune. Um, you would do the same thing with each string and play the reference pitch, do that first going lower, then going higher, um, except for E string. So remember this E string, is so thin and very tight already that we only use the fine tuners um, because it is a very effective if you just use the fine tuners on that string. All right, so that was really great. I just have a few um, things to add and these are just tips for success. Number one, you need to stay patient about this whole process. Um, take your time and don't rush. Number two, if the string is floppy, take it to a music store for tuning. 
Um, and then number three, if it's done incorrectly, when you tune with the pegs, it could break a string. And in that case, take it to the store as well. The last thing that could happen is when your string goes floppy because you've lowered it too much and it maybe it comes floppy, the bridge might move. If you notice the bridge has moved in any way, even um, if it's turning sideways or, or turning this way, um, that would be something to take to a music store for fixing it as well. I hope that this was helpful to you and that you're able to tune your instrument successfully.